Welcome to RPM once again, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock songs on the Mando. Classic rock songs like CCR's Down on the Corner, another one of those great songs written by John Fogarty in the 1960s, one of the greatest songwriters in rock history, in my opinion. My name is Mike DeJong, and I will take you on a tour of this song in a few minutes. It's a, it's fairly simple to play on the mandolin, but, you know, some cool little rhythms that you can get your picking hand around and, you know, your left hand around some of those opening licks. Um, I will show you those in a minute. But first, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, if you're new here, thank you very much for joining us. And please hit that little red button on your way out as you leave or as you watch this lesson. It really helps us to build the subscriber base and to build this channel into something that will continue long into the future. We look at classic rock and pop mandolin songs here, or classic rock and pop songs in general that you can play on the mandolin. In fact, most of the songs on this channel are guitar songs that I think work really nicely on this eight string instrument. So without further ado, let's take a look at Down on the Corner by CCR. Hey everyone, we've zoomed in for CCR's Down on the Corner. Let's take a look at that opening riff. All right, here we go. doing with that opening riff there? Well, you start off with the C note. The song is in the key of C. So let's start off with the C note right here, fifth fret of the G string, all right? And it goes from C to A to G, all right? A is the second fret and G is open. So here's the first part of that riff right here. It goes, all right? That's pretty straightforward from the C to A to G. But the last part of that little lick there is a little bit of a, well, it's a little bit of a curveball. John Fogarty was a baseball fan. He still is a baseball fan, I think. So he's throwing in a little curveball there. It's the B note, right? The seventh note in the C scale. It goes back, makes that a C major pattern, right? So one more time, the first part of that riff is C, A, G, C, C, A, G, G. B, C, a very quick back to the C like that. And then he jumps up to the next string. He goes, right? So he, he's jumping up to the D string here, right? So from the C to the, to the F note, which is the third fret right there. So, so same, same sort of rhythmic pattern, right? So it's F, D to C, right? So F, C, and then another little curveball. You're jumping up to a G chord. So you need a G arpeggio or the notes in a G scale, right? So from there, he jumps to the E note here to the G note. And I'll show you that again. It goes from the, from the second part here. Right? So the entire opening riff, one more time, is like this. Starting off with the C part. Let's go to the next part. And the final part. Right? And then down on the corner, right? Out in the street, okay? So the song immediately goes into the chorus after that opening lick. He goes down on the corner, out in the street, right? Willie and the poor boys are playing, and so on, right? So what are those chords? Well, it's F to C to G and to C. Down on the corner is F to C and then G to C, all right? And again, I'm playing, um, Maybe some different voicings than you normally would play for an F. I mean, I think most people probably play the F chord like that with a, that open A string. But for this song, I think you really need the tighter chords, a really tight rhythm. So I think you need this closed voicing of the F, right? Which is second fret of the G string, 
third fret of the D and third fret of the A. Okay, so that's an F chord. I play it with a bar. I bar it like that. I bar it with my second finger here, like. Right? And that's the same thing you can do on the G uh, chord, like that. The F chord is here. Just move it up a couple of frets to there, and it becomes a G, right? So the G is, is the fourth fret of the G string. It's the fifth fret of the D, which is your root, and then fifth fret of the A string. All right? But first, you got to play a C chord in the middle. Am I being confusing? Well, I'll show you. Down on the corner. There's your C chord. Out in the street. Right? They all resolve to that C chord because the song is in the key of C. So your F chord, your closed F chord there. And then I do a closed C chord here as well. Kind of a closed C chord. I don't play this uh, top E string here. I try not to have that ring out. So play your C chord like that from the C note there. Fifth fret of the G string. The E, which is second fret of the D. And then a high C up there on the A string, right? Third fret. So you're going F to down, 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 right? So F, C, and G, C. Okay, so the rest of the song is just a combination of C and G, and then later F to C, okay? So down, down, down. Okay, so there I just went C to G, and then one more time, G, and then dun, 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 dun. so F, 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 back to C, and then C to G again, and then back to the chorus again, down on the corner. Talking the street, really in the poor boys are playing, right? And that's Down on the Corner by CCR, written by John Fogarty. Another fun song to play on the mandolin. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That opening riff is kind of fun to play, and the chords and the, the rhythmic strumming is a little bit tricky for you if you're a beginner, but really try to work on that tight right hand and the tight left hand with those closed chords. You'll get this song. Play along with the original version recorded by CCR. Thanks very much for tuning in to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, once again. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that little subscribe button down there in the lower right corner. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks very much for watching RPM.